Hi guys, Son of the here, back again for another video on the channel then. In this one today then, match previews for the Championship are finally back and the Swans are finally back in action after a month out with Covid and the Swans then are travelling to Yorkshire to visit Huddersfield Town away. Huddersfield then are currently in the playoff position in 6th spot with 40 points having a very very good season indeed. While the Swans, the visitors then are 17th in the league, only on 27 points but in fairness to us, we've not played in over a month so we haven't been able to move up the table. So going up to teams is both results in the last one then both in the Emirates FA Cup third round Huddersfield progressed to the fourth round while the Swans got knocked out in the third round Huddersfield beat Premier League opposition Burnley at Turf Moor 2-1 away from home went a goal down as well and got two late goals in that one to win and progress to the fourth round where they will visit Barnsley at home well if it's the Swansea City then unfortunately for us we suffered a 2-3 loss at home to Southampton took them to extra time unfortunately their quality off the bench just you know took them through in the end but a little bit disappointing considering you know they went down to 10 men quite early on in the match that we couldn't take advantage but you know fair play this ramp and good luck to them in the next round this field then are currently unbeaten in the last seven games really good form for the terriers you know they are very dangerous size and very very key players indeed especially sober thomas who he knows a welshman is going to be a very very good player for wales in the future Swan city then we've lost the last four games i can't really remember the last time we won a game to be honest you know we've been on a really really poor run recently and you know we've, this is the first like real test for russell martin as long as he managed to see how the players will, you know, rebound. We've not had bad performances, uh, but they've not been great either. It's just the other team are taking their chances. So it's a little bit annoying, but hopefully, you know, we can finally win this weekend. So going to the key place for Huddersfield then, the three best players for them so far this season, according to the foot mob. In third place, you've got Jonathan Hogg with a 7.23. In second place, you've got Levi Colwell with a 7.39. And the best player for Huddersfield so far this season is Lewis O'Brien with a 7.40. So if all those three players are fit, and available for Huddersfield tomorrow, we definitely need to look out for those. So the game tomorrow is actually going to be taking part ahead of a big crowd at Huddersfield. They've put tickets on for a five to get more of the local community and build a little bit of an atmosphere and hopefully make a lot more Huddersfield fans. So it's going to be a fantastic atmosphere. I probably believe there's over a thousand Swansea City fans tomorrow, which is very, very good support considering you know the difference between Swansea and Huddersfield. So yeah, fair play Huddersfield making five pound tickets for the home fans and away fans. So yeah, really, really good club Huddersfield. They've been there once before it was a 1-1 one, one draw actually I've been there twice before nil nil draw in the prem so the two times i've been to the st john stadium there's been two draws nil nil one one could it be a tool tomorrow? We've got the team news then. Good news from City fans. Huddersfield's main goalkeeper, Lee Nichols, is out injured for the next few weeks. So they'll have to be playing their backup goalkeeper. And one of the best free key players, Levi Corwell, is currently a doubt. He will take part in training today, said Carlos Corbrahan. And apparently if he fails, you know, training and doesn't really succeed, he won't be part of the squad tomorrow. For Swan City then, I do believe Flynn Downs is suspended, which is a big, big shame. Picked up his fifth yellow card of the Skybet Championship season against Nottingham Forest. So it looks like he he'll be missing this game which is a big big blow considering he played very well against Southampton and it does look like Jamie Patterson will be missing this game as well suffering from long-term effects of COVID-19. So we do have a Huddersfield fan on Price we've had on, on the channel before of course a Welsh Huddersfield fan so I do like him now and again when Wales are playing anyway but yeah make sure you check out his channel guys his link will be down below and let's see what Josh Price has got to say about Huddersfield's chances tomorrow. First of all I'd like to thank Reese for letting me on his YouTube channel um, and yeah, thoughts on the season so far. It's been one of those unexpected seasons where people will say that we've overachieved. Now, I don't think we are overachieving. I just think we need to maintain the level of standard we are playing. Um, very unexpected. Um, but the best thing is our team is playing very well. We are seven games unbeaten in all competitions so far. So I think it'll be a very hard game for Swansea to get into on on Saturday. Um, I think that uh, if we beat if we beat Swansea, it'll be eight games unbeaten, and then we've got Reading after Swansea. I think so. Uh, Reading away, I think we should reasonably be if beat them, if not draw to them. So if if a draw against a, a win against Swansea will be enough for me. Um, where will you finish the season? I think, um, I think we'll be in the promotion race now for the rest of the season. And, um, I think, honestly, I think with the team we've got, it's only improving game by game. And, um, I think we could end up finishing fifth in the championship this season and push on for promotion places. Now, we know what we're like when it comes to penalties if we make it that far. Um, in the promotion playoffs um 
because we can end up being promoted through penalties if we make it get to penalties because we know what we're like with that because we've made it through penalties to the to the top the uh, to the top division or to the championship from league 1 through penalties so don't 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 be surprised if we get promoted through penalties this season if we were to get that far um score prediction now i think it'll be a 1-0 win for town for Huddersfield or It'll be a one all draw, respective one all draw. Um, I think Swansea will make it harder for us to keep the eight, eight game winning streak going in all competitions. They'll make it really, really tough for us. So we're not expecting a, a pushover at all at any stretch. Um, so yeah, guys, if you can please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Josh, uh, which is called, uh, Pricey. Um, my name is Josh Price. Thank you very much, Reese, for letting me on the YouTube channel. And I wish you all the best, Swansea, for the season coming. Go on to score predictions then. Of course, like I said last week, I was only taking 90th minute predictions. So the people who got the 90th minute prediction right, which was Swansea 1, Trampton 1, shout out to Sarah, Davey and C.J. If you want to shout out the next video, which will be next Friday's video against Preston North End, which does look like fans will be going to attend to as restrictions have eased, which is very, very good news indeed. And it was ridiculously pointless to put restrictions in the first place because we've missed no games at all. But who cares? We're not talking about politics. But if you want to shout out, you'll be shouting out in Friday's next match preview against Preston North End. But you've got to get the score right between Huddersfield and Sun City first. Going on to my lineup then. Do the two new signings make debuts in my team? Yes, they do. In goals then, I'm bringing Andy Fisher in straight away. You know, we've signed him for a decent fee. He's obviously going to be the number one. Let's just start him now. Back five is going to be Cyrus Christie, Kyle Norton, Ryan Bennett, Ryan Manning, Jake Bidwell. I'm putting Ryan Manning back in the back three. You know, he's a decent wing back. But for me, let's get Bidwell back a wing back. And let's put Manning where he's been terrific this season at centre half. In the midfield then, Corey Swift and Matt Grimes. I'd love Jay Fulton to participate in the midfield with Matt Grimes. But, you know, he could be part of the bench. But I just don't see it happen. I think he'll be leaving the club. And the front three then, Olivier Incham, Joel Pro, Michael Obafemi on pitch. Paper. That's a frightening front three, but it just hasn't really clicked for Michael Oberfemi this season. Olivia Encham, you know, hits hot on cold, so you don't know whether he's going to turn up or not. And you've got Joel Pro, who sometimes misses an open goal recently, which we're not going to talk about. But yeah, on paper, that's a decent team. Score prediction then. You know, we've not played in a few weeks, so I think we're going to be firing for this one. I think, you know, the fitness levels should be decent for the first 60, 70 minutes. And then, you know, they probably will go down. But yeah, I'm going to go Swansea City 2 0 away win. You, you know, we've recently won in Yorkshire 2 0 away to Barnsley, which is our last win. And I think we'll do the same way to Huddersfield. So 2 0 Swansea City, Joel Pro and Michael Oberfemi. Please let Michael Oberfemi score. You know, he, he's had a hard time recently, and, you know, he deserves a goal. Played all right against Hampton. Won as a free kick, got a man sent off. And. I just really wanted to click for Michael Oliver Fairman. But let me know down below, guys, what is your score prediction? So thanks guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please do leave a thumbs up on the video, comment and subscribe. I will be making a trip to Yorkshire tomorrow. So if you do see me, make sure you say hello, buy me a pint. Can't go away with a free pint. I'm only joking. I'll buy myself a pint because no one knows what I like anymore. I don't know what I like. I don't know. Carlin, but I don't know if they'll sell Carlin, but I'll have a pint there anyway, but hopefully you guys enjoy the game, if you're not going to Huddersfield, enjoy your Saturday, but if you are making a trip to Yorkshire, I do wish you all a safe trip, should be a decent game, and of course, like I said, hopefully be able to attend Preston North End next Saturday, they've changed it to a 12.30 kickoff, due to the fact that, you know, it wasn't going to be fans there, but it looks like fans could be attending the restriction of the season on the 23rd, so they'll probably move that back to a 3 o'clock. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back to the Sunday.com stadium, but first of all, let's get the three points tomorrow. I had this feel looking forward to seeing my mates again. It's been a very, very long month for football, and I'm looking forward to seeing another Swans that you lost. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you back again for the match vlogs tomorrow, and I'll try not to swear.